wings will you blow 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 like a mighty wind Blow like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your own wings. Blow every sadness, blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Hear me, there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Just pray in the spirit in one minute. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. hallelujah let me finish because we are going to pray tonight worship team get ready you will sing that my song for me again ah, my spirit is fired up listen you have to say enough is enough if not for your sake for your children on board i've gone through the pain already let innocent people not go through this again i've gone through the poverty i went through the pain of idolatry I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos, te prende que te escoto bascadia, em preketa, regete cotos coto tetea, repas coto shanakata bakata. Someone pray, you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadaka Bakatos, a Prokopos Koto Begete Lakapa, Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents no matter the investment it's not that they are bad they find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame you send them to go for studies they return with shame wasting your money and your time remember what i taught you he continued further if and when unhindered evil will always continue further hear me let me tell you this i made up my mind and i made a covenant with god that everything i've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments 
Let it end with me. Let it end with me. The poverty, the failure, the limitations. Let it end here. Thus far have you come. No further shall you go. Pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Now hear me, please. Don't be distracted. We are praying. I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have helped them, please. Tabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. of the spirit and i see a mighty army rising yes i know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar hey. oh, oh, oh. Hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region. You start a walk, it does not last more than three years. Something must happen that brings you down. You may still be there, but you never maintain the texture of your glory. There are regions like that. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in these end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when 
the ceiling in my room just disappeared and i'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like leviathan looking like 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 a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory number one please sit please sit discernment and the understanding of the controlling powers the primary explanation to territorial backwardness is not the blindness of the people human beings are god's creation they are not that dull only God would open your eyes to see the territories assigned over Nigeria. Don't you think Nigeria is just sitting free of attacks? Go and see the powers that reside in the sea. The powers that manipulate the elements of nature. A ministry like this. You think the devil would just fold his arms and watch? No, sir. But we look to we are way. Yahweh, our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. hallelujah oh i didn't see reverend vindiolu god bless you sir such an honor to have you on your team thank you so much sincerely celebrate and appreciate you listen to me let me finish what i'm doing and would we'll dedicate some time you are not praying this night for yourself do you know that in the peace of a territory is your peace in the peace of your family is your peace God is betting spiritual midwives tonight who will hold on the four horns of the altar and cry until something breaks open. So the principle of prophetic intercession number one the fortitude to discern the controlling powers jesus knew this when jesus was going to gadara he was not just sleeping he was resting but in discernment the spirits that possess the gatherings notice that in gadara some people were doing well whereas some people were suffering it was based on their negotiation with the spirits can i tell you there are controlling powers that sit over cities you don't do business and prosper until you come to them you can do a general small business but you are about to hit a threshold they will invite you come sit we don't just rise like that ask jesus when jesus was about to start his mission satan took him into an exceeding high mountain and showed him the glories of the world and say all has been given to me unfortunately satan is not the only jesus is not the only person satan has taken to that mountain there are many people preachers have gone to that mountain businessmen have gone to that mountain and some did not say no 
can i tell you this go and ask any truly successful person who is successful at a global scale they will tell you that the time must come when envoys who represent the workings of darkness they invite you to a council it is based on negotiation not intelligence from that level as a preacher and as a man of god it's like there is a spiritual meter that measures your impact you keep rising provided you are just generally doing your thing help that lady i curse that spirit in the name of jesus christ rise to a particular point of influence here they come to you your father tried this are you aware influence does not just happen because you have what to say it is victory over controlling powers the king of tyre sits upon the economic hub of the earth how dare you prosper without compromise without coming to him this is why jesus said what shall it profit a man if he gains and loses my question who was the businessman that did business with him that you gave your soul there are musicians who were taking up that mountain they freely gave their soul for fame can i tell you this this she goddess babylon that sits upon the circles of the earth is interested in everything including the souls of men let me show you a scripture revelations 18 we're about to pray revelations 18 this is the fall of babylon let's start from verse 1 we'll read from verse 1 to 5 and then we'll go to verse 9 and end with 13 please pay attention everyone please look and learn after these things i saw another angel come out from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory to five and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the great is falling is falling and is become a habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird verse three i want you to read this by yourself are you ready one to read for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her who is the her babylon and the merchants of the earth how did they get rich read it our works rich through the abundance of her delicacies they did not just prosper there was a negotiation that happened verse 4 i heard another voice in heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not her plagues go to verse 9 go to verse 9 and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas that great city babylon the mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come and the merchants of the earth shall weep why will they weep for no man buyeth their merchandise so why were they buying their merchandise before it was not because they could buy and sell there was a spirit that they negotiated with over the territory verse 12 now listen let me show you what this system sells all these things are available for purchase the controlling powers i will tell you the assignment of controlling powers they ensure transgenerational allegiance to satan they control everything the systems and the structures to make sure you cannot rise by righteousness you negotiate with them they give you access the merchandise of gold silver precious stones pearls fine linen purple and silk scarlet 
thyine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory these are the things she sells and all manner of vessels of most precious wood you know the bible says what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and does what that means if babylon gives you the world what does she collect i will show you what she does with those souls verse 13 let's read cinnamon orders ointments hold on babylon can give you anointing she sells it too you can go and say i'm tired of ministry not working let's negotiate this territory cannot be that difficult and she says i will give you anointing frankincense and wine and oil fine flour and wheat and beast now you start reading sheep horses what else what does she sell again where did she get the souls the people who came to her for exchange babylon has souls babylon has slaves she can give you access to the hearts of men so that whether you sing anything no matter how nice it is a million people can love you in one day those souls come from her it does not just happen dear people of god why does the devil assign these spirits in territories to make sure no territory is ever saved as a territory if he tries your individual salvation and it does not work he can give up but he's waiting for you at a territorial level satan is obsessed with transgenerational allegiance your forefathers worshipped him through mediums grandfathers worshipped him through mediums and someone suddenly arises and say no more we will rise in your name adonai hey, you reign on high we will rise sing your name adonai here comes a generation that says we will not bow to babylon and yet we will prosper yet we will advance and satan says you have drawn the line here you go say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves can i tell you this hear me when god raised missionaries from africa and when he brought missionaries from europe and from america they taught us the evangelical dimension of the gospel but they did not teach us there are retaliations for refusing the allegiance of satan so number one for starters malaria killed them we know now that it's not malaria you know you we know that isn't it oh yes you don't step into a shrine and just break it and all you know is just the gospel of salvation it takes the gospel of the kingdom to walk in dominion and so many of our fathers and mothers and loved ones innocently said look we pledge our allegiance to jesus we no longer will worship these idols but they did not know that your fortification is based on spiritual intelligence and these spirits came with harsh retaliations do you know what there is a generation now that is returning back because they are saying like gideon we have not seen this power again we have tried this church thing i was a christian and i did not get a job they will tell you i was a christian and i did not get whatever i wanted it didn't come by righteousness therefore i am returning back and you see the speed with which the devil gives them breakthrough not every testimony came from god there are testimonies that are a product of fraternity with babylon satan is making running to him marketable those who run to him he will lavishly restore 
and give all kinds of things and you will see a man beat his chest and say when i was a christian i was a poor man i was miserable as a preacher now that i've created alternatives look at my life initially you will refuse him until you see your children crying and for two years they have not gone to school satan comes to you again job will you still hold your integrity job said though he slay me yet will i trust him he said all the days of my appointed time i will wait number two what is the second principle of prophetic intercession faith and persistence you cannot become an effective intercessor if you do not engage with faith and you do not sustain persistence it takes an appreciable time period to break through the spiritual limitations that hold on to the minds of families and regions and territories and advocate a release for them please look up even though moses met god he did not just go to egypt and in one night he brought them out no pharaoh is stubborn he will not let them go even god told moses he said even though i've made you a god to pharaoh this guy you see is not himself he will not let you go it was after 10 plagues hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15 this is where many intercessors give up and so after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise not after he had prayed not after he had believed god can i tell you this some of you today the dimension of grace god has brought you was a 25 year prayer of your mother 30 year prayer of your grandmother don't you think intercession just happens in two days you've cried for three weeks and you are tired and say lord i've given up ask go and read your bible and find out how many years Anna the prophetess interceded for Jesus why will you need to intercede for Jesus when he's the father who is sending him down to the earth from the time she became widowed she started interceding over a period of 60 years she interceded for the arrival of Jesus can I tell you this go and read church history read about the moves of god and you will learn that there were people there were missionaries who did not really have spiritual power per se but they held on to the horns of the altar and they prayed and prayed and prayed weeks became months months became years years became decades suddenly the heavens opened and you will see a young boy in the farm and fire would fall upon him go and read the history of the church in nigeria you see many believers were not students of history that's why the secret to the future is in yesterday go back and study yesterday study the generals study those who serve the purposes of god men like archbishop benson idahosa papa ayo and babalola you go and read about them you may not know but they were prophetic intercessors who prophesied their arrival and prayed they were not educated they were not wealthy but they understood the art of prophetic intercession our generation is not praying for anything we are just praying for cars houses lord you've given me five add three more in my lifetime and god is saying look at you are not you are not long term you are not kingdom in your perspective I'm not saying those things are wrong you've given me 10 houses are two lord you've made me make me the greatest man of god within a city and god says why mundane desires an intercessor is obsessed with seeing prophecy birthed when anna the prophetess held jesus she said behold i have seen the consolation of israel do you know how powerful it is when an intercessor sees prophecy birthed in your lifetime there are many of you here who are parents don't weep over your personal failure begin to invest over your grandchildren 
Lord grant that in my lifetime I see a prophet that comes from my loins grant that in my lifetime I see one who the government will be upon his shoulder see these are the kinds of destiny prayers we need to obtain grace to stop praying this tea and bread lord give me kill this one and leave me and mm -mm, you need to go to the horns of the altar and start praying national and territorial prayers john knox went on his knees and said lord give me scotland or i die choose one take away my life and let it know that i failed or give me scotland Go and read about the revival unfortunately most of those regions today do not appreciate the sacrifices you see if you don't teach children history they will abuse privileges this is a very honest advice if god blesses you don't just give your children money teach them the value of sacrifice blessing people without teaching them history is what leads to compromises there are many many fathers who should teach sons in the gospel the sacrifice that brought the anointing that they are easily and carelessly enjoying some of the most lawless people in society are children because the car was given free everything was given free you can find a man who is a billionaire sometimes he can even fly economy because life has whipped him so much there's no point to prove and you will see a lawless child with nothing flying private jet and his mind is empty and he's about to destroy the father's fortune two years after the death of the father he's gone down because there's no wisdom i have a message i pray that i will teach it on father's day the concept of inheritance i will share with you what the bible calls inheritance there are five things if you do not give your child you are failed unfortunately 80 percent of men have not given that to their children most of what we give is not inheritance go and look at abraham and isaac he never gave abraham any material thing but to all the sons that he had with hagar and the other concubines he gave them physical things giving your child a physical thing is the least way to help them sila and then wait for that wait for that series father's day maranatha <laughs> galatians 6 and verse 9 we're wrapping up let us not be weary in well-doing that includes intercession for in due season we shall reap if we faint not don't be weary you've been praying for the salvation of your loved ones for the past five years could it be that you are just two weeks left don't give up can i tell you for some reason experience has shown that mothers are better intercessors or women i think it's because of the pain of childbirth there are many people god is using today who it was not their personal desire to be used by god mama did not go to school but she used the power of prayer to rouse the head of that child to a prayer meeting he was on his way somewhere and the, the intercession of mama of many years and he just said let me step in and rest and that was where fire fell on that person someone prayed for you to be saved i hope you are praying for someone else intercession let me round up by teaching you the blessing of an intercessor there are three blessings in scripture that follows an intercessor number one intercession is a seed please understand this according to the law of seed time and harvest every time you engage in the ministry of intercession is a seed you are sowing and based on the integrity of that law there is a harvest that is coming for you one of the you ask any serious intercessor he will tell you most of the things you pray for others about you will not need to pray for yourself about it job 42 and verse 10 please give it to us job 42 and verse 10 help those under the anointing please read with me one to read 
and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job how many listen you read the beginning of job's prayer he was praying for himself wondering what was going wrong but job came to a point where he almost accepted his fate and he said do you know what i'm already a dead man let me focus on praying for my friends at least let them have hope if i am hopeless and he engaged a mystery please keep that scripture there that god turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends god can turn your captivity as you pray for other sinners as you pray for your family members mentioning them by name every true believer should have a prayer altar write the names of people would you be that one person that when things are not going wrong when things are not going right and they need someone to stand you are the one they call he said listen i don't know what is happening to my marriage but can i trust you to pray for me rather than gossiping around with people's issues pray rather than making a lot of noise over what is the meaning of this why is this church going down pray rather than praying and saying this man is like his business is going down shame on him pray job james 5 13 is anyone afflicted let him pray i believe in the ministry of intercession sincerely let me tell you you go and ask god i stand before the god of heaven and i tell you this more than 80 to 85 percent i hope i'm not lying of my prayer is not for myself and it's not because it's not because i am a man of god and i have a spiritual responsibility I like to know what is wrong especially for a family that may not have the spiritual intelligence to handle it my real anointing works when there is trouble yes sir oh apostle it looks like the devil is just pre that's all right just give me the prayer request doesn't mean you go and sleep too let me give you a caution because some of sometimes if you don't balance these teachings pray for me pray for me has also produced a lazy pe people in the body of christ they just give you a prayer request and add a small seed and go and sleep don't practice that kind of attitude it's very bad there there are certain victories that is you and god that will flog it out alone are we together if you are playing football we can't play the football for you we can only cheer you but you are the one who kicks that ball to the goalpost the blessing of an intercessor number one that intercession is a seed and every time you intercede do not allow the devil cheat you and make you believe that you are do you know sometimes you'll be mandated to pray for people who will never even appreciate you even when they know you are interceding now from a human standpoint it is painful because if you tell them i'm praying for you you are just seeing doors open they'll say you are praying for me carry your prayer and pray for yourself and yet god says continue that's why i told you the foundation of the intercessory ministry is love number two very quickly what is the second blessing of an intercessor access to the secrets of god over territories and over people the blessing of an intercessor is that by reason of your your opening your heart to intercede god can trust you with the secrets of territories and the secrets of destinies God can open your eyes and tell you something about a man of God, about a church, about a people that no other person, not even the person he's talking about may know. You have earned his trust by reason of being an intercessor. He can trust you with the pain of people because he knows that you will pray for them. Genesis 18. 17 and 18 let's hurry up genesis 18 17 and 18 
and the lord said shall i hide from abraham that thing which i do seeing that abraham shall surely become a great and a mighty nation and that all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him are you seeing the key now i know that whatever i do for him is for the sake of others so i can trust him there are many people today who pray for the spirit of revelation lord grant me access to illumination lord open me up to the prophetic and you know many times when people come and tell me apostle what is the secret to the prophetic i tell them is love not power can god open you up to the details of a family especially when it is negative can god trust you with the secrets of men and you pray for them this is our generation that our mouth does not close can god show you the weaknesses and the limitations of people and trust you to pray for them can god show you the limitations of a nation of a politician of governments of families if God opens your eyes and you see the spirit that sits upon the destinies of a particular family, can you pray for them as instructed and yet be quiet? There are some of you, God trusted you with the secrets of men. He opened up to you in dreams and showed you things to pray for about men, about ministries, about politicians, and you ran your mouth up and down and God said no more let's withdraw that grace for the safety of that person you are a christian but you have not earned the right to be trusted can god trust you it's a message i preached years ago please go and look for it it's an audio message some of these audio messages will do the video versions of them powerful message can god trust you god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody he gave unto one five talent and two and one as a measure of his trust for them can a ministry come to you and say we are struggling financially man of god we are struggling forget that the smiling is just by faith but as it is now our rent is expired shame is imminent and you can say my brother know that there is a shoulder that is praying with you can i tell you this there are many people wounded in the body of christ today the reason why many people do not open up over their pain is because there are no true intercessors prayer partners have stabbed one another in the back they share prayer requests it's like my grandmother is a witch and i'm hearing and they're writing and the next time they're seeing it on the internet they're seeing it everywhere pastors are preaching the pain of people and all of these things and the, and they do it in a way that the people know this is them and god says no without that grace for the safety of the person can i give you a secret you must pray that god will make you a trustworthy person that's why those who have the mysteries of the kingdom are called custodians a custodian is a caretaker it is not yours but you have earned the trust of god stewards of the mysteries he says There are things God has shown me about people, ministries, politicians, several people. Every time God reveals to me the secrets of the destinies of men or territories, it is a trust. And I take it with every sense of responsibility. Can I tell you, I have counseled so many people who have been betrayed and backstabbed by people that they trusted. Oh, three of our children one is a smoker the other one is not doing well can we agree and the next thing that becomes a subject of pain that's why many people box their problems now and cry alone to god there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain break every chain the secrets of the lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant
when i started with god there were times aside from my encounter with jesus this is a true story i don't talk too much about my experiences because i want people to build their faith on the integrity of scripture because sometimes younger ministers just imitate and copy everything without knowing which one is a doctrine and which one is a personalized dealing but i remember when i would have encounters like the shekinah glory of god literally like a mist will come you know how a fog is that is how it will fill my room and i would lie down and my bible god is my witness will physically open to pages that i did not open with my own hands till today that experience still happens to me i can close my bible and sleep there is no fan anywhere and yet i wake up in the middle of the night i know that the holy spirit wants me to study there this is how some of these messages come but can god trust you the sheer level of pride that has wrapped up men of God can he trust you with these experiences access to the secrets of God over territories and over people number three and that does it for tonight what is the blessing of an intercessor authority and power over the assigned territory let me tell you this one of the blessings you receive as an intercessor is aside the authority you have as a believer god is able to trust you with authority and power over the territory that the burden of intercession came to you over i can tell you this there is a mystery called the decree of the watchers not just the decree of men it is a decree of the watchers daniel chapter 4 from verse 16 and 17 there is the decree of the believer but there is the decree of the watcher there is a throne in heaven that backs you authority you speak over that assigned territory and every force and everything will come into alignment let his heart be changed from a man's remember the judgment of nebuchadnezzar let a beast's heart be given to him unless seven times over him 17 this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones and they made that decree it was not just god that judged nebuchadnezzar there were watchmen there were men and women who had authority over that region and they said your evil is enough and they cursed him and heaven backed it to this intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth over the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basest of men you know a true intercessor by the territorial power and authority they command there were many many other people in the days of elijah but watch elijah the intercessor there shall be no rain for a period of three and a half years if it was in our arrogant generation a group of people would come and say don't mind elijah is he the only one let's pray you think someone did not pray and say lord let rain come it was as if he was the only man after three and a half years let me tell you how rain came rain did not just come by him saying rain come he did exactly what closed the heavens the bible says he bent over and prayed and lifted his head did it again and he said i see the sign like the fist of a man's hand he saddle your ass and run i hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain intercessors are men of power in the spirit don't mind their weakness physically intercessors are powerful they can literally shift the spiritual climate of their assigned territories one intercessor who steps into a territory with understanding 
when I went to preach for Archbishop Duncan Williams I had an opportunity to go to their prayer mountain where they are building as a platform to intercede for the nations and when I got there I had the opportunity to teach and pray with his major personal intercessors my goodness you think you can pray you meet those guys believe me when I tell you ah no 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 when when those guys you will know that those guys were that's their life oh intercessors they are just giving the burden over nations God can say now Congo all they need to do is to drop the prayer request in the middle of them and they will pieces it like you are slicing fish you will just hear that someone is dying someone else is rising there is a control room in the spirit can I tell you this ladies and gentlemen Nigeria is not as bad as it is it's a reflection of the absence of strategic intercessors you want to command salvation over territories let's start with Abuja start with your region raise men and women by the spirit who understand prayer not blind prayer of dissipating energy that does not produce result that's not intercession strategic prayer with understanding bring forth your strong reason saith the lord over this territory you write the names of your family members one by one and you wake up every night you are praying lord salvation lord healing lord restoration lord deliverance he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint can i tell you this there are certain levels of power and grace i have seen in my life it did not come by asking directly it came as a product of standing in the place of prayer for people there are covenants that I have with God today that came at the instance of certain levels of intercession. There are things God will never tell you in the open. You will have to become an intercessor. Pastors, pray for your members. Don't just speak over them. Can I tell you, Koinonia, hear me? You are spiritual people. Go and ask God the decree to which I pray for you don't think my preaching here is the end of the ministry what you see me do on the pulpit is only 30 percent of my ministry to you my real assignment to you and my my real ministry to you aside from teaching you the word of god is to pray while you are sleeping know that there is somebody awake for your sake praying and crying unto god don't think i'm a politician doing some manifesto here lord touch my people lord change their lives sometimes you send me text messages and i don't reply you don't be angry just because i did not reply you it does not mean i did not pray about it there are times i just drop the phone there because i can't reply everything and i lie down before my maker and i say lord you sent me let these people not have shame and reproach when I sit down here and hear certain testimonies, praise the Lord. This one just happened. I just sit quietly as if I don't know anything about it. But make no mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, this man you see by the privilege of God's grace, and I do not say it to boast. If you have never believed that anybody prays for you, believe it today. 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 That is why you see, as a man of God, when you have time for everything, it's a sign that something is wrong with your ministry. Are we together? Yes. Everything you have time to go for every occasion. You are at wedding in the morning, birthday in the afternoon, some Thanksgiving in the where what prayer is not something that you do in a rush. There are times that it takes two hours to just say thank you thank you two hours thank you Jesus and you are there lying down 
and an atmosphere of worship like this your eyes sleepy but you remember that you love the people you are sent to can i tell you this a good shepherd lays down his life god will not trust you with members just because you want it he must show in your heart i speak respectfully to servants of god listening forget about all these wanting people to just give you seed you announce your birthday one year in 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 in, in um, what they call it now one year in advance settle down and do what god called you to do the members are not stupid when god blesses them through you they know what to do to you can i tell you this demanding money from members is wrong like to say come and give me money that's not your assignment they didn't call you you bless them and pray for them and let god direct them and they will surprise you members are not greedy just do your work go and ask him i don't just love koinonia i love you you are koinonia only god will tell you the amount of prayer sacrifice and preparation i just returned from lagos you know some of us at one o'clock i was standing on a pulpit and preaching you see that these are the sacrifices of an intercessor i leave this place probably 1 a.m or 2 a.m by tomorrow morning because after service that's only part one of all of this listen when you see what god is doing with people don't just claim anointings do you have the compassion to go that far this is what the younger generation needs to learn just claim anointings up and down no commanding salvation over territories for as long as we're in this city god has sent us in partnership with other vessels across this city to lift our hands and say satan is no longer business as usual we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words God has sent us to these cities to tear down ancient gates. Gates that have kept men of God down. Gates that have kept families down. This is the FCT. So we stand upon this control room and we speak. Rise upon your feet. Our time is gone, but lend me two or three minutes. We are going to pray and intercede number one we will intercede for the church in abuja and the church in nigeria doesn't matter the denomination that the purposes of god will be established and the council of darkness will be far from our habitation prayer point number two we are going to pray for every family represented here i like you to pray that because you are here every onslaught of darkness against every family to bring shame and reproach we come by the decree of the watchers that it must be overturned and number three you are going to pray for nigeria our nation we are going to cry to the god of heaven and say lord you are always ahead of time go ahead of us bring salvation to this nation is someone ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray pray is this how you're praying online we pray for the church in abuja every church that names the name of christ we intercede in the name of jesus new levels grace for salvation signs and wonders fire upon every altar in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus pray the works of darkness to destroy the purposes of god 
the works of darkness to destroy any man of God the works of darkness to destroy any work to discourage the faith of believers we curse it in the name of Jesus pray for every assembly Lord let there be salvation soul winning at another level soul winning at another dimension Pray. Lord bring increase to every church bring fire to every church bring revival to every church signs and wonders the church in Abuja we declare you are light a city on a hill that cannot be hidden we decree and we prophesy all of the six local governments in Abuja the church is there represented exploits by the spirit in the name of Jesus now pray for every family begin with your family members pray for your children pray for your spouse pray for your siblings cry to the God of heaven arise oh God like the mighty God that you are wipe the tears of God's people wipe the tears of families let shame and reproach let Ichabod no longer be their testimony turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev finally pray for Nigeria go ahead and pray pray for the presidency pray for our members of Senate pray for the house members Pray for the captains of industry. Pray for the teachers, the lecturers. Pray for our colleges, our universities. Pray for our hospitals. Pray for the military, the police, the paramilitary. Lord, there must be peace in this nation. If someone pray, we decree we give him no rest till you establish Jerusalem as a place. demons of bloodshed we curse you demons of ritual killing we curse you spirits of terrorism there is no place for you in our border we pray for Christians we pray for Muslims we pray for everyone who is upon our soil Lord we pray there must be peace we pray there must be advancement in the name of Jesus everyone who names the name of Christ let there be peace from the presidency wisdom our parliamentarians wisdom businessmen wisdom captains of industry when men say there is a casting down for you it will be that there is a lifting up we drive the coronavirus out of our territory we lend our voices with the medical personnel we prophesy peace no pandemic will cross our borders and come to destroy us we make this decree the decree of the watchers established in heaven the spirits of untimely death we curse you by the God of heaven our roads are safe the airwaves are safe two more minutes you are interceding if you do not know what to pray for as you ought to pray in the spirit we lend our voices to pray we declare an end to the works of darkness we declare an end Ah! 
Rabrateka paros koto prede gide balada balada bala. Radeshke de brantos koto parata da. Shala da brada da 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 koto skudiata. Rapas katila paros koto ba. We dethrone every other name. We dethrone every other council. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate the tokens of liars. We turn diviners mad. They will not perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus. Every family rising by the spirit, every family excelling by the spirit, every family coming into the experiential knowledge of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let the mantle of the intercessor, the grace for prayer and supplication, may it come upon you tonight. Every laziness in your prayer life, whatever has fought your prayer life, that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent I stand by the grace of God and we bring an end to it now hear me Please, I want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and I will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not When you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the god of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray god reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of god at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season 
but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore i agree with you that everything you came here trusting god for i release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of jesus christ please you are here and you are saying apostle now i realize it is a risk being without jesus please no movement it is we we must mature and grow do not walk around when an altar call is being five or two more minutes does not stop you from going where you are going please as much as possible when an altar call is being made it's a time to respect it nobody would force you but it's a discipline we must grow spiritually an altar call does not take more than two minutes and we're done many of you will go out and yet it's not home you are going to there is a spirit that tries to drive you two minutes added to your time does not take you run away from that culture except it is necessary please don't do that when an altar call comes we must be matured are we together there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus this night and i need him sincerely others are saying apostle i love jesus with all my heart but for some reason my life has gone haywire i need restoration i'm going to call on these two groups of people and i want you to please run it's my joy and my honor there is a champion in the making some of you you are coming in and this your salvation will culminate to the blessing of your family i will count one to five run and come and stand here young and old one celebrate them as they come shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will go and i have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead i will go keep coming one more time he's the shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will follow i have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead come to jesus for some of you he's giving you a new beginning for some he's restoring you he is able to do both and to save even to the uttermost and you following online you are following by way of television or the internet jesus is coming to you it is time to surrender everything to him even if you are watching the rebroadcast this is an opportunity to make it right with jesus i salute every one of you and all the overflows i want you to please lift your right hand before jesus the son of the living god you're not lifting it before apostle you're lifting it before jesus say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart in this confession today can be the salvation of so many people connected to you you are not just saved for yourself you are saved for many others say lord jesus one more time say it loud and clear say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i declare that you are my savior you are my lord and you are my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i receive eternal life into my spirit from tonight and forever i am a child of god i am saved i go forward ever and backward never amen congratulations please keep your hands lifted father thank you so 